go for main engine start. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. All three engines up and burning. 2, 1, 0, and liftoff, the final liftoff of Atlantis on the shoulders of the space shuttle. America will continue the dream. Roger roll, Atlantis. Houston now controlling the flight of Atlantis. The space shuttle spreads its wings one final time for the start of a sentimental journey into history. 24 seconds into the flight, roll program complete. Atlantis now heads down, wings level on the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Space Station. 40 seconds into the flight, the three liquid fuel main engines throttling back to 72% of rated performance in the bucket, reducing stress on the shuttle as it goes transonic for the final time. Engines now revving up, standing by for the throttle up call. Atlantis, go at throttle up, no action, DPDT. Go at throttle up, no action on DPDT. That call from Capcom Barry Wilmore, a transducer, instrumentation only, no action required. Atlantis now 15 miles in altitude, already 16 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, one minute, 40 seconds into the flight. Atlantis flexing its muscles one final time. Atlantis traveling almost 2,600 miles an hour, 21 miles in altitude, 24 miles downrange. Standing by for solid rocket booster separation. Booster officer confirms staging a good solid rocket booster separation. Firing chain is armed, hot suppression water system is armed. Go for main engine start. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, zero, and lift off for the final launch of Endeavour. Expanding our knowledge while expanding our lives in space. Houston Endeavour, all program. Roger roll, Endeavour. Houston is now controlling. Endeavour beginning to over onto its uh, back, the roll program on the way as uh, Endeavour begins a heads down position on course for a 51.6 degree, 136 by 36 statute mile orbit. Three engines now throttling down as Endeavour uh, passes through the area of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower atmosphere. Approaching one minute into the flight. Endeavor, go at throttle up. Roger, go at throttle up. Endeavor's three uh, main engines now back at uh, full throttle, all uh, three engines in good shape. Endeavor's already uh, traveling 1,300 miles per hour at an altitude of 11 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, now 12 miles. At liftoff, uh, Endeavour fully fueled, uh, weighed four and a half million pounds. It's already lost half that weight in propellant now, burned that weight. Next event is burnout and separation of the twin solid rocket boosters. Uh, that upcoming here shortly at the uh, two minute three second point, those boosters are burning 11,000 pounds of fuel per second. And standing by for separation of the solid rocket boosters.
The onboard guidance system has done its job of settling out any dispersions introduced at booster separation. The uh, orbiter is now traveling 3,200 miles per hour, downrange 50 miles, altitude 37 miles. All systems in good shape. 20 seconds. The sound suppression water system has been activated, protecting Discovery and the launch pad from acoustical energy waves. Go for main engine start. We have main engine start. Two, one, booster ignition, and the final liftoff of Discovery. A tribute to the dedication, hard work, and pride of America's space shuttle team. The shuttle has cleared the tower. Twist back with a half minute ride into orbit. Discovery now making one last reach for the stars. through the area of maximum pressure, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it goes supersonic. Discovery Houston, you are go at throttle up. Commander Steve Lindsay acknowledging the call from Capcom Charlie Hobie as Discovery's three main engines throttle back up. Lindsay is joined on the flight deck by pilot Eric Bowe and mission specialist Al Drew and Nicole Stott. Mission specialist Mike Barrett and Steve Bowen. Discovery's three main engines are burning fuel at a rate that would drain an average swimming pool in about 25 seconds. The engines combined with the solid rocket boosters produce more than 7 million pounds of thrust. One minute, 50 seconds into the flight, we're standing by for separation of the twin solid rocket boosters. Discovery now traveling 2,695 miles an hour. It's altitude 24 miles, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center 29 miles. Booster separation confirmed. Discovery's guidance is now converging as the shuttle's onboard computers fine-tune the flight. T minus 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Go for main engine start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And zero and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis of its historic achievements in space. Uh, Atlantis is in a roll. Roger, roll. Okay. Houston is now controlling. The roll maneuver is complete. Atlantis is in a head down position on course for a 51.6 degree, 136 by 36 statute mile orbit. Three main engines on Atlantis have now been throttled down to 72% of rated thrust as the orbiter prepares to pass through the uh, area of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower atmosphere. The engine's now beginning to throttle back up. Atlantis, you are go at throttle up. Copy, go at throttle up. Three engines looking uh, really good, back at full throttle now. At liftoff, the fully fueled shuttle, boosters, and external tank weighed four and a half million pounds. It now has burned uh, half of that liftoff weight in propellant. One minute, 30 seconds into the flight, all three auxiliary power units that provide hydraulic power to the orbiter's systems in good shape, as are the fuel cells, 
providing uh, electricity to all of the systems on board. Atlantis is already 19 miles in altitude, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 20 miles traveling, 2,500 miles per hour. Coming up on staging, the point at which the twin solid rocket boosters burn out and separate from the orbiter. Booster separation confirmed. T minus 25 seconds. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of the vehicle's critical functions. 20 seconds. T minus 15 seconds and the sound suppression water system has been activated. We have a go for main engine start. Three engines up and ready. Three, two, one. Zero, booster ignition, and liftoff of Discovery, blazing a trail to scientific discoveries aboard Space Station. Houston Discovery, roll program. Bye to roll, Discovery. This is Mission Control Houston. Space Shuttle Discovery is rolling into a heads down position, putting it on course for 51.6 degree, 136 by 36 statute line orbit and eventually the International Space Station. Discoveries 3, liquid-fueled main engines are now throttling down to reduce stress on the shuttle as it travels through the area of maximum dynamic pressure. Discovery is already at an altitude of 4.7 miles or 26,500 feet and traveling Discovery, go at throttle up. Roger, go at throttle up. Traveling 1,000 miles per hour, Discovery's engines are now throttled back up and performing at full capability. At liftoff, the shuttle weighed more than 4.5 million pounds and now uh, one minute and 27 seconds into the flight, the main engines and solid rocket boosters have reduced that weight by about half. Solid rocket, bo rocket boosters alone are burni burning 11,000 pounds of propellant per second, and the external tank is now 3,000 pounds lighter than when it began. Discovery is now 21 miles away from its launch pad and uh, 22 miles in altitude, traveling 2,700 miles per hour. All three main engines are working just as expected. The three fuel cells are generating power and the three auxiliary power units are all producing pressure. In short, everything performing well. Two minutes and seven seconds into the STS-131 mission. The booster officer in the mission control center has confirmed the solid rocket booster separation. All systems continuing to, continuing to function well. We're T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. We have to go from ready to start. 2, 1, 0. Booster ignition and liftoff of Shuttle Endeavour with NASA's final space station crew compartment that brings a bay window view to our celestial backyard. Houston Endeavour. This is Mission Control Houston. Endeavour's roll maneuver is complete. It is now in a heads down position on track for its flight to the International Space Station. 28 seconds into the flight, Endeavour flying at 1100 miles per hour, 1.3 miles in altitude, and 7 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, according to onboard computers. Endeavour's engines are throttling down at the, as the orbiter passes through the area of maximum pressure on the vehicle. Endeavour, go at throttle up. Endeavour copies, go at throttle up. The three main engines on board are throttling back up, now 1 minute 10 seconds in the flight. Endeavour flying at 1,800 miles per hour, 
10 miles in altitude, 11 and a half miles downrange. At liftoff, the fully fueled shuttle boosters and external tank weighed four and a half million pounds. And the total thrust at launch was 6,425,000 pounds. All systems continue to function well. Three good main engines, three good power generating fuel cells, and three good auxiliary power units for the hydraulic system. The next step will be the burnout and separation of the solid rocket boosters. Combined, the twin boosters provide 5.3 million pounds of thrust to propel the orbiter towards space. Firing chain is armed. Sound suppression water system activated. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, 2, 1, 0, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis on a mission to build, resupply, and to do research on the International Space Station. Houston now controlling. Atlantis begins its penultimate journey to shore up the International Space Station. Atlantis now in the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Outpost. 30 seconds into the flight. Atlantis almost two miles in altitude, almost six miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center already, traveling 500 miles an hour. Three liquid fuel main engines now throttling back to 72% of rated performance going into the bucket, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. 55 seconds into the flight, all systems operating normally, 900 miles an hour. The speed of Atlantis right now, six miles in altitude, nine miles downrange. Atlantis, go with throttle up. Copy, go with throttle up. The throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Charlie Hobaugh, joined on the flight deck by pilot Butch Wilmore, flight engineer Randy Bresnick and Leland Melvin. Seated down on the mid deck are Mike Foreman and Bobby Satcher, kicking off their work week with a Monday commute to orbit. One minute, 30 seconds into the flight, Atlantis 13 miles in altitude, 15 miles downrange, traveling almost 2,000 miles an hour. Three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells, three good main engines. One minute, 50 seconds into the flight. Ten seconds away from solid rocket booster separation. Booster officer confirms staging a good solid rocket booster separation. Guidance now converging. Atlanta steering into the center lane of Highway 129 en route to the International Space Station. Two minutes, 20 seconds into the flight, 34 miles in altitude, 48 miles downrange. Atlanta's traveling 3,200 miles an hour. The sound suppression water system has been activated. Okay. CLS is go for main engine start. We have a go for main engine start. Start. Two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery, celebrating its 25th birthday by racking up science and supplies to the space station. Houston now controlling the midnight ride of Rick Sterko and his crew to the International Space Station. Discovery rolling on to the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Outpost. Thirty-two seconds into the flight, the three liquid fuel main engines soon will throttle back to 72% of rated performance down in the bucket, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it goes transonic. Discovery three and a half miles in altitude, four miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center.
Standing by for the throttle up call now from Capcom, Eric Bowe. Discovery. Cap, you go ahead, throttle up. The throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Rick Sterko, joined on the flight deck by pilot Kevin Ford, flight engineer Jose Hernandez, and Pat Forrester. Seated down on the mid deck are Danny Olivas, Christopher Fugelsang of the European Space Agency, and Nicole Stott, hitching a ride for three months on the International Space Station. One minute, 30 seconds into the flight. All of Discovery systems performing normally, 17 miles in altitude, 18 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. One minute, 50 seconds into the flight, standing by for solid rocket booster separation. Booster officer confirms staging a good solid rocket booster separation. Guidance now converging. The onboard computers steering the shuttle for its precise path to the International Space Station. The sound suppression water system has been activated, protecting Endeavour and the launch pad from acoustical energy. We're go for main engine start. We have main engine start. Four, three, two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff of Endeavour, completing Kibo and fulfilling Japan's hope for an out-of-this-world space laboratory. Houston, Endeavour, roll program. Roger, roll, Endeavour. This is Mission Control Houston. Endeavour's roll maneuver is being completed. It's now going into a heads-down position on track for its flight to the International Space Station. Flying at 400 miles per hour, one mile in altitude, and seven miles downrange already from the Kennedy Space Center. Endeavour's engines were throttle throttling down as the orbiter passes through the area of maximum pressure on the vehicle. Now 50 seconds into the flight. Endeavour, go at throttle up. Go at throttle up. The three engines on board are throttling back up. Endeavour flying at 1,100 miles per hour, 10 miles in altitude, and 10 miles downrange. At liftoff, the fully fueled shuttle boosters and external tank weighed four and a half million pounds. The total thrust at launch was 6,425,000 pounds. One minute, 33 seconds into the flight, Endeavour flying at 1,900 miles per hour, 17 miles in altitude, and 16 miles downrange. All systems continue to function well. Endeavour has three good main engines, three good power generating fuel cells, and three good auxiliary power units for the hydraulic system. We'll be standing by for a burnout and separation of the solid rocket boosters. Combined, the twin boosters provide 5.3 million pounds of thrust to propel the orbiter towards space. Booster officer confirms the SRBs, or solid rocket boosters, have separated. Two minutes and 20 seconds into the flight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff of Space Shuttle Endeavour, preparing our home in space for a larger international family. Houston now controlling. Houston Endeavour roll program. Roger roll Endeavour. Commander Chris Ferguson confirming Endeavour is rolling on course for a rendezvous with the International Space Station. Feet a thousand miles an hour, altitude one mile, downrange distance six and a half miles from Kennedy Space Center already. Starling 
down to seventy two percent of the rate of thrust as the shuttle goes through the realm of maximum aerodynamic pressure altitude five miles down range eight miles from kennedy space center speed fifteen hundred miles an hour endeavor go at throttle up all systems remain go Speed 2,000 miles an hour, altitude 10 miles, downrange distance 12 miles from Kennedy Space Center. It's one and a half minutes since launch. Endeavour has consumed more than two and a quarter million pounds of propellant and weighs less than half of what it did at launch. Standing by for burnout of the twin solid rocket boosters and jettison. Boost drops confirms a clean separation of the two solid rockets. Endeavor. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. And liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis. A final visit to enhance the vision of Hubble into the deepest grandeur of our universe. Bypass across the board, scooter, no action. Houston now controlling Atlantis on its way. Atlantis on its way, all three engines now throttling down as the area begins, as the vehicle passes through the area of maximum dynamic pressure. Atlantis, Houston, no action on the MPS H2 out P. Houston, we copy, no action. Atlantis, go at throttle up. Houston, Atlantis copies, go at throttle up. Seven miles in altitude. Altitude 49,000 feet. Flight control team discussing the minor transients that were seen at liftoff. All three engines are in good shape. The vehicle is uh, headed downrange. Three hydraulic systems in good shape, as are the fuel cells. Atlantis is 18 miles uh, and altitude downrange 23 miles. Already traveling 2,500 miles per hour, approaching staging the burnout of the twin solid rocket boosters, which have been burning fuel at a rate of about 11,000 pounds per second. Solid rocket boosters have done their job. T minus 15 seconds and counting. Ten. Ten seconds. We have go for main engine start. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff of Shuttle Discovery. Combate Kudasai. Best of luck to the International Space Station's newest laboratory. Houston and Discovery, roll program. Roger roll, Discovery. Houston now controlling the flight of Discovery, a man-made rising sun on behalf of Japan. Discovery on the proper alignment, heads down, wings level for the eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Space Station.
thirty six seconds into the flight the three liquid fuel main engines now throttling back to seventy two percent of rated performance going in the bucket reducing the stress on the shuttle as it goes supersonic discovery already five miles in altitude eight half miles downrange traveling almost a thousand miles an hour discovery houston go at throttle up the throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Mark Kelly, joined on the flight deck by pilot Ken Ham, flight engineer Ron Garan, and mission specialist Karen Nyberg. Down on the mid deck are Mike Fossum, Aki Hoshide, and Greg Shamatov, heading for a half year on the International Space Station. One minute, 45 seconds into the flight. Discovery 22 miles in altitude, 23 miles downrange. Standing by for solid rocket booster separation. Copy staging. Booster officer confirms staging, a good solid rocket booster separation. Range safety systems armed. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, and liftoff of Endeavour, going where east and west do meet at the International Space Station. Houston now controlling. Houston Endeavour, roll program. Roger, roll, Endeavour. The roll maneuver is complete. Endeavour is in a heads down position on course for a 51.6 degree, 136 by 36 statute mile orbit. The Florida coast gets an early sunrise as Endeavour heads out on a course to intercept the International Space Station in a day and a half. Endeavour, your go at throttle up. There's no action on the left RCS messages. We'll have words later. No go at throttle up. Copy, no action on the RCS message, Matt. Endeavour's heading out 51,000 feet in altitude, 10 miles from the Kennedy Space Center, downrange 11 miles. Three hydraulic systems in good shape, as are the electricity producing fuel cells. Three good uh, main engines at 104% of rated thrust. Coming up on uh, staging, the burnout of these twin solid rocket boosters at two minutes, five seconds. And the handoff to Atlantis's onboard computers. Atlantis now in control of the countdown. 20. Firing chain is armed. Sound suppression water system activated. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, 2, 1, 0, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis on a mission to build, resupply, and to do research on the International Space Station. Houston now controlling. Atlantis begins its penultimate journey to shore up the International Space Station. Atlantis now on the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the international outpost. 30 seconds into the flight. 
Atlantis almost two miles in altitude, almost six miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center already, traveling 500 miles an hour. The three liquid fuel main engines now throttling back to 72% of rated performance, going into the bucket, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. 55 seconds into the flight, all systems operating normally, 900 miles an hour. The speed of Atlantis right now, six miles in altitude, nine miles downrange. Atlantis, go with throttle up. Copy, go with throttle up. The throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Charlie Hobaugh, joined on the flight deck by pilot Butch Wilmore, flight engineer Randy Bresnick and Leland Melvin. Seated down on the mid deck are Mike Foreman and Bobby Satcher, kicking off their work week with a Monday commute to orbit. One minute, 30 seconds into the flight, Atlantis 13 miles in altitude, 15 miles downrange, traveling almost 2,000 miles an hour. Three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells, three good main engines. One minute, 50 seconds into the flight, 10 seconds away from solid rocket booster separation. Booster officer confirms staging a good solid rocket booster separation. Guidance now converging. Atlanta steering into the center lane of Highway 129 en route to the International Space Station. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, go for main engine start, main engine start, 2, 1, booster ignition and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery returning to the space station, paving the way for future missions beyond. Houston now controlling the flight of Discovery. The space shuttle begins the journey back into orbit. Discovery completes its role. The shuttle now heads down wings level for the eight and a half minute line to orbit. This view from a camera on the external tank's liquid oxygen feed line showing the bird's eye view of Discovery as it races towards space, a star-spangled start to Discovery's mission. Discovery's three liquid fuel main engines now throttle back to 67% of rated performance, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. Discovery already three and a half miles in altitude, one and a half miles downrange, traveling almost 750 miles an hour. Everything looking good on the bird. 57 seconds into the flight. Engines beginning to rev up. Standing by for the throttle up call from Capcom, Steve Frick. Discovery Houston, go at throttle up. Private, go at throttle up. Sounds USF only. The throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Steve Lindsay. Expected data hits, it'll clear shortly. Copy. Lindsay joined on the flight deck by pilot Mark Kelly, flight engineer Lisa Nowak, and mission specialist Mike Fossum. Mission specialists Pierce Sellers, Stephanie Wilson, and Tomas Ryder of the European Space Agency down on the mid deck. Ryder headed for six months on the International Space Station. One minute, 47 seconds into the flight, 22 miles in altitude, 18 miles downrange, traveling 2,600 miles an hour, standing by for solid rocket booster separation. Solid rocket booster separation confirmed, guidance now converging. Discovery's onboard computers commanding the main engine nozzles to swivel, aiming the shuttle for its precise target in space for main engine cutoff. And we should have a good forward link now on S-Bend. T-minus 16 seconds. Sound suppression water system has been activated, protecting Discovery and the launch pad from acoustical energy. We have a go for main engine start. T-minus 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery, hoisting harmony to the heavens and opening new gateways for international science. Discovery has cleared the tower. 
Houston now controlling. Roll program. Roger, roll, Discovery. Discovery's roll maneuver is complete. It's now in a head down position on track for its flight to the International Space Station. Discovery, seven miles downrange at an altitude of two statute miles. Flying at 600 miles per hour. Discovery's engines are throttling down as the orbiter passes through the area of maximum pressure on the vehicle. Now 50 seconds into the flight. Discovery, eight miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of six statute miles. Flying at 900 miles per hour. Discovery Houston, go with throttle up. Copy, go with throttle up. The three engines on board are throttling back up. At liftoff, the fully fueled shuttle boosters and external tank weighed four and a half million pounds. The total thrust at launch was six million four hundred and twenty-five thousand pounds. Discovery now 13 miles downrange at an altitude of 13 statute miles, flying at 1,700 miles per hour. All systems continue to function well. Three good main engines, three good power generating fuel cells, and three good auxiliary power units for the hydraulic system. Discovery now 24 miles downrange at an altitude 23 statute miles, flying at 2,700 miles per hour. One minute, 58 seconds into the flight, standing by for burnout and separation of the solid rocket boosters. Combined, the twin boosters provide 5.3 million pounds of thrust to propel the orbiter towards space. The booster officer here in mission control confirming the booster separation. 12, 10, let's go for main engine start. Six, five, four, three, Two, one, and booster ignition and liftoff of Space Shuttle Discovery, taking the space station to full power for full science. This is Mission Control Houston. Discovery roll program. Roger roll, Discovery. Discovery's roll maneuver is complete. It is now in a heads down position on track for its flight to the International Space Station. miles per hour, one and, a half, one and a half miles in altitude, seven miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Discovery's engines are throttling down as the orbiter passes through the area of maximum pressure on the vehicle. Discovery, go at throttle up. Discovery, go at throttle up. The three main engines on board are throttling back up. Now one minute, 12 seconds into the flight, Discovery flying at 1,800 miles per hour, 10 miles in altitude, and 11 and a half miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. At liftoff, the fully fueled shuttle boosters and external tank weighed four and a half million pounds. The total thrust at launch was 6,425,000 pounds. All systems continue to function well. Three good main engines, three good power generating fuel cells, and three good auxiliary power units for the hydraulic system. We will now stand by for burnout and separation of the solid rocket boosters. Combined, the twin boosters provide 5.3 million pounds of thrust to propel the orbiter towards space. Discovery now flying 3,600 miles per hour, 32 miles in altitude, 43 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. T minus 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, go for main engine start. Four, three, two, one, 
Zero and liftoff of Space Shuttle Endeavour, expanding the International Space Station while creating a classroom in space. Houston Endeavour, where is the program? Roger roll, Endeavour. Houston now controlling the flight of Endeavour. The Space Shuttle begins its journey back into orbit. Endeavour rolling onto the proper alignment, heads down, wings level for the eight and a half minute ride to orbit, taking aim on the International Space Station for docking on Friday. 30 seconds into the flight, the three liquid fuel main engines will soon throttle back to 72% of rated performance in the bucket to reduce the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. This view from long-range trackers, now from a camera on the external fuel tank showing the bird's eye view of Endeavour heading towards space. 54 seconds into the flight, Endeavour already eight miles downrange. Standing by for the throttle up call from Capcom, Chris Ferguson. Endeavor, go with throttle up. Go at throttle up. The throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Scott Kelly, joined on the flight deck by pilot Charlie Hobaugh, flight engineer Rick Mastracchio and Tracy Caldwell, Dave Williams, Al Drew, and Barbara Morgan seated down on the mid deck, Morgan racing towards space on the wings of a legacy. One minute, 30 seconds into the flight, Endeavor currently traveling almost 2,000 miles an hour, 14 miles in altitude, 15 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Three good fuel cells, three good auxiliary power units, three good main engines. Endeavour flying straight as an arrow, one minute, 55 seconds into the flight, standing by for solid rocket booster separation. Booster officer confirms staging a good solid rocket booster separation. Guidance now converging. Endeavor's onboard computers commanding the main engine nozzles to gently swivel, aiming Endeavor for a precise keyhole in space for main engine cutoff. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, main engine start. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis to assemble the framework for the science laboratories of tomorrow. Houston now controlling. Houston Atlantis, roll program. Roger, roll Atlantis. Atlantis's roll maneuver is complete. The uh, orbiter's in a heads down position on course for a 51.6 degree, 137 by 36 statute mile orbit. Systems in good shape. Engines throttling down as Atlantis prepares to maneuver through the area of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower atmosphere. Already seven miles away from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of five miles. Ten seconds. We have a go for main engine start. Six, five, four, three, two, one. We have booster ignition and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery lighting up the nighttime sky as we continue building the International Space Station. Houston Discovery, roll program. Rendezvous, Discovery. Commander Mark Polanski confirming Discovery, rolling on course for a rendezvous with the International Space Station. Speed of 1,000 miles an hour, altitude one mile. Downrange four and a half miles from Kennedy Space Center already. Three good engines startling back to two thirds of the rated thrust. Passing the air of maximum dynamic pressure, about to go supersonic. There's a view from the external tank camera. Discovery Houston. Go at throttle up. Go at throttle up. All systems remain in go for discovery. Altitude eight miles. Speed 1700 miles an hour. Downrange 10 miles from Kennedy Space Center.
minute and a half since launch, Discovery already consumed more than two and a quarter million pounds of propellant. It now weighs less than half that it did at liftoff. Altitude 18 miles. Speed 3,000 miles an hour. Already 22 miles northeast of Kennedy Space Pen. Three good engines, three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells. Boost drops are confirmed. Clean separation of the two solid rockets. Discovery's three engines now powering the second stage. Firing chain is armed. Sound suppression water system activated. Ten. Minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Three main engines up and burning. Two, one. And liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis, opening a new chapter in the completion of the International Space Station for the collaboration of nations in space. Roger, Roger, Atlantis. Houston, this now controlling the roll maneuver is underway. Atlantis is heading into a heads down position on course for a 51.6 degree 137 by 36 statute mile orbit. Atlantis already two miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of 2.8 statute miles. Engines now at 72% beginning to throttle back up as the vehicle passes through the area of maximum dynamic pressure. Atlantis Houston, go at throttle up. Copy, go at throttle up. All three liquid fueled engines are back at full throttle. One minute, 20 seconds into the flight. At liftoff, the fully fueled shuttle, boosters and external tank weighed about four and a half million pounds. It now has burned half of that weight in propellant. Solid, solid rocket boosters are burning 11,000 pounds of propellant every second. Coming up on uh, one minute, 45 seconds. Standing by for first stage uh, separation of the uh, solid rocket boosters. Atlantis is at an altitude of 129,000 feet, 24 miles in altitude, 25 miles downrange. All three engines are still performing as expected. SRB separation and staging confirmed. Activated. Yep. Bring safe systems arm. T minus 10 seconds. Go for main engine start. Seven, six, five. Three engines up and burning. Three, two, one, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Discovery, beginning America's new journey to the moon, Mars, and beyond. And the vehicle has cleared the tower. Houston's now controlling. Commander Alan Collins confirming Discovery's rolling onto a course for rendezvous at the International Space Station. miles per hour. Altitude 12,000 feet. This a view from a camera mounted on Discovery's external fuel tank. Three engines on Discovery are now throttling down to two-thirds throttle to prepare the spacecraft to pass through the area of maximum air pressure and go supersonic. One minute since launch, Discovery speed now 900 miles per hour. Discovery Houston, go at throttle up. Discovery is go at throttle All systems remain go for Discovery. Altitude now nine miles, six miles northeast of the launch pad.
One and a half minutes since launch, Discovery's already consumed more than two and a quarter million pounds of propellant. It weighs less than half of what it did at liftoff. Speed now 2,000 miles per hour, altitude 18 miles, 14 miles northeast of the Kennedy Space Center. Standing by now for a burnout and jettison of the twin solid rockets. Booster officer confirms clean separation of the solid rocket boosters. Discovery now on its three main engines, second stage. Speed now 3,030 miles per hour, altitude 33 miles, 40 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Stand by for the handoff to the onboard computer. Handshake has occurred, T minus 30 seconds and counting. 25 seconds. Firing chain is armed. Sound suppression water system activated. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Go for main engine. Four, two, one, and lift off of Space Shuttle Endeavour with another building block for the foundation of the International Space Station. Houston now controlling the flight of Endeavour. Three new residents headed for the International Space Station. Endeavour completing the roll. The shuttle now in a heads down wings level position for the eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Endeavour's three liquid fuel main engines throttling back now in a three step fashion to 72% of rated performance, reducing the stress on the orbiter as it breaks through the sound barrier. seconds into the flight, the main engine soon to begin to rev up to full throttle, 104% of rated performance. The main engines, along with the three fuel cells and three hydraulic power units, all functioning normally. Endeavour Houston, go at throttle up. Go at throttle up. The throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Jim Weatherby, joined on the flight deck by pilot Paul Lockhart, flight engineer John Harrington, and mission specialist Mike Lopez Alegria. The Expedition 6 crew, Ken Bowersox, Nikolai Budarin, and Don Pettit, seated down on the mid-deck, headed for their new home in space. One minute, 22 seconds into the flight of Endeavour. The orbiter already 10 miles downrange, 13 miles in altitude, shedding its weight as it heads toward main engine cutoff targets. All of Endeavour systems in good shape. One minute, 50 seconds into the flight as we stand by for solid rocket booster separation. Booster officer confirms a good solid rocket booster separation. Guidance now converging. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Atlantis's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 20 seconds and counting. 15 seconds. 13. 11. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. We have both main engine start. 2. 1. Booster ignition and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Atlantis, building the station and our future in space. Houston now controlling the flight of Atlantis. Roger roll, Atlantis. Atlantis into the roll, the external tank camera placing the shuttle in a heads down wing with wings level position for that eight and a half minute ride to orbit. The Florida Space Coast disappearing as uh, Atlantis moves into the correct azimuth for orbit. Thirty-three seconds into the flight. 
first condensation pouring over the top of the orbiter as the three liquid fuel main engines begin to throttle back in a three-step fashion to 72% of rated performance. Forty-nine seconds into the flight, Atlantis already two and a half miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, throttling up. You are go and throttle up. Atlantis, roger. The throttle up call from Capcom Ken Ham, acknowledged by Commander Jeff Ashby, joined on the flight deck by pilot Pam Milroy, flight engineer Sandy Magnus, and mission specialist Pierce Sellers, Dave Wolf, and Russian cosmonaut Fyodor Yurchikin seated down on the mid deck. One minute, 20 seconds into the flight. This view from long range trackers at Playa Linda Beach, north of the Kennedy Space Center, and now the external tank camera view once again. Atlantis 11 and a half miles downrange, 17 miles in altitude, traveling 2,800 miles per hour. One minute, 45 seconds into the flight, about 20 seconds prior to solid rocket booster separation. Booster officer reports a good solid rocket booster separation. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Endeavor's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 20 seconds and counting. 15. 12. 10. Seconds. 10 9. 8. Seven, we have a go for main engine start. Five, three, two, one, zero. We have booster ignition and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Endeavor, extending our reach while expanding our research in space. Houston now controlling the flight of Endeavor. Three new residents headed for the International Space Station. Endeavour completing its roll, 51.6 degrees inclined to the equator. The shuttle heads down wings level for the eight and a half minute ride to orbit. 37 seconds into the flight, three liquid fuel main engines now throttling back in a three-step fashion to 72% of rated performance. That will reduce the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. Endeavour Houston, go at throttle up. Go at throttle up. The throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Ken Cockrell aboard Endeavour. He's joined on the flight deck by pilot Paul Lockhart, flight engineer Franklin Chang Diaz, and mission specialist Philippe Perrin. The new Expedition 5 crew, Commander Valerie Corzoon, and flight engineers Peggy Whitson and Sergei Treschoff, seated down on the mid deck. Endeavour already 11 and a half miles in altitude, 8 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center three good main engines, three good fuel cells, three good auxiliary power units. One minute, 40 seconds into the flight, about 25 seconds away from solid rocket booster separation. Endeavour traveling almost 2,400 miles an hour. Standing by for solid rocket booster separation. Booster officer confirms a good solid rocket booster separation. Guidance now converging. The onboard computers commanding the main engine nozzles to gently swivel, aiming the shuttle for a precise keyhole in space for main engine cutoff. T minus 15 seconds. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. We have a go for main engine start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have booster ignition and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Atlantis setting in place the keystone to the space station's backbone. Booster 
Atlantis, roll program. Roger, roll, Atlantis. Houston's now controlling Atlantis, rolling on course toward the International Space Station. Atlantis already traveling more than 300 miles per hour. Altitude now two miles, downrange about one mile from the launch pad. Three engines on board Atlantis have throttled back to two-thirds throttle to prepare the spacecraft to pass through the area of maximum air pressure and go supersonic. Atlantis, Houston, go at throttle up. Okay, go at throttle up. Three engines on board back at full throttle. Atlantis now traveling more than a thousand miles per hour. One minute, ten seconds since launch, Atlantis has already consumed more than a million tons of propellant. Altitude now 12 miles. Speed 1,700 miles per hour. 10 miles downrange from the launch pad. A minute and 45 seconds since launch. A flight controls will be standing by for burnout and jettison of the twin solid rockets that coming up uh, in just about 10 seconds. Solid rocket booster jettison. 